judgment the Bible says in Hebrews 9 23 that it is appointed once for man to die and then after that the judgment seat you are gonna die one day and you are gonna stand before God and he is gonna judge you he is gonna call this day into account and it's gonna be a testimony against you God is gonna use this day as an indictment against you on that day but God longs for you to turn from your sin. Jesus longs for you to repent. The Bible says that he is long suffering, not willing that no one should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Jesus wants everybody saved. He wants the murderer saved. He wants the thief saved. He wants the homosexual saved. He wants the sodomite saved. Jesus Christ has come not to destroy men's lives but to save them and today jesus has called us out here today to call you to repentance to call you from your wicked deeds to call you to turn and begin to live a life of holiness for righteousness exalts a nation but sin is a reproach to many sin is destroying our social structure it is destroying the morality of this of this world and god has sent us out here today to warn you of the judgment of god for you are going to face his wrath for all of eternity and an eternity is not for a day it's not for a week but it is eternal and you are going to spend an eternity in hell if you do not repent but Jesus Christ has mercy and grace. He longs to call sinners to repent. He longs for you to turn. For there is only hope in Jesus Christ. For there is no other name underneath heaven that man can be saved, but only the name of Jesus Christ. For Jesus Christ has faced the horrors of the cross so that he can save you from the horrors of hell. But you gotta be willing to repent and turn from your wickedness. Today is a call out to repent, people. It is time to repent. It is time to get things right with Almighty God. It's time to turn from your wickedness. It's time to turn from your immorality. It's time to turn from your perversion today because you are going to face God's wrath for all of eternity. I look out at what you are doing today. You are mocking God's servants. You are mocking a holy God. And God offers his mercy and grace. And you spit in his face. And you trample all over the blood of Jesus Christ. This is what you are doing today. You are trampling over the blood of the only begotten son. And that is Jesus Christ. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And this is the condemnation, that light has come into darkness, but men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. And this is why people don't repent. You love your sin and you love your wickedness. You love your sexual immorality. You love your homosexuality. And because of that, you are going to spend an eternity in hell. 
But God says, look, I love you today. God says, look, I'm giving you a chance today because you're not promised tomorrow. You don't know what's going to happen next week. You don't know what's going to happen next month. You can die when you leave this parade. What are you going to do? What are you going to do if you die without Jesus Christ? There's no hope after death but Jesus Christ. He is the only hope for humanity. Jesus Christ is the only hope for humanity. There's no hope in the Pope. There's no hope in your good works. There's no hope in your good looks. You must repent towards God and have faith in Jesus Christ. If not, you will face God's wrath. You are going to stand before a holy God one day and God is going to call your life into account and you're going to be judged and you can mock and you can laugh. But God loves you today and he has sent us out here to share with you the love of Jesus Christ. And the love of Jesus Christ today calls you to repent. The love of Jesus Christ today calls you to turn from your wickedness so that you can be saved from the judgment that is to come. Because God's wrath is coming against this nation. This nation has become a nation of abomination. And it is a sickening stench in the nostrils of Almighty God. And God's judgment is against the nation of America. And God has given a call out today for humanity to repent. He is calling for homosexuals and sodomites to turn from their perversion and turn to Jesus Christ that they would be saved.